sometimes when I'm one of the few people who gets up to return, I can see others looking at me that are there, 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 go and spoil market. <laughs> I can almost think that they are thinking that. You see, she returned. Now we all have to return. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Diana Sir, presenter of Talking Point. And I'm Abi, the producer of Talking Point. So a few weeks ago, uh, Talking Point investigated on the topic of why Singaporeans don't return their trays when eating out at the Hawker Centre. The episode has been out for a few weeks and a lot of people on YouTube had a lot of things to say about the episode. Yeah, I know. I have to say I didn't quite expect it. So today, what Abi and I are going to do is to read and respond to some of your comments. Are you ready for the first comment? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Okay. Raira Soru writes, If we do keep the tray, no job for uncle and auntie who wants to who wants to work as a tray or bowl retriever? Okay. Raira, do you watch our show or not? <laughs> Did you watch the show? Actually, this is a really common perception, but I assure you that I know many of you are worried about the aunties and uncles losing their job, but they won't. But there's plenty for them to do as a matter of fact. Uh, I went on an, an immersion during the program as a cleaner. I've only been a cleaner for four hours and let me tell you, it is exhausting. She only had about 10 tables in one area of the Hawker Centre. So it wasn't even the entire Hawker Centre. But during the filming of the episode, she was actually running from one end of the of, of her station to the other end because people would just leave her, the trays and crockery behind. And she was actually very, very stressed. And even us as, as the camera crew running after her felt very uh, stressed alongside her. Yeah. You know what, I mean, the fact that the aunties and uncles will be deprived of a job could have been started by a very cunning person who does not want to return the tray. In fact, by returning our trays, we are helping out the cleaners. I mean, we spoke to a bunch of cleaners and all of them said the same thing, that returning your trays is actually something that helps them perform their job better. So I think like when we did the social experiment where people are supposed to return their own trays, and at one point I was just standing next to this uh, uncle who owned the turtle soup stall. You before that was actually him yelling at me and scolding me for conducting this social experiment. In that Chinese or English? In, at first English, then he started uh, yelling at me in and Chinese that's also. That's why Abi dragged me in. <laughs> I was looking for Diana all around. I was like, please come, save me. Okay, so if you haven't actually watched the episode, please watch Tray Return episode 1. That's where Benny, the pink hair hawker, got very upset with us. And, uh, and he's lovely. I loved him for speaking up. And Benny basically says that you're messing up my business. I want to do my business. So it's people like Benny who uh, we have need to, to win over to say that at the end of the day, if people can return the trays, then it should be a win-win for everybody. This tray return episode just had so much comment. So I'm just wondering if it has even moved the needle a little bit in getting people to return trays. We are now at a hawker center and we are just next to a tray return station right now. So how about this? We time ourselves for five minutes and we see how many people actually return their trays. Ha! Diana, how many people do you think will return? Five minutes. Um, it's a bit off peak right now. So I would say five. I'm an optimist, so I'm going to say seven people. Five, seven. Yeah. Where's your phone? Take out the, the, the stopwatch. Okay. okay, we're ready to start. Loser, buy lunch. Huh? <laughs> you sure lose one. Okay. Let the game begin. Three, two, one, start. So far, zero. Before we started, people were returning. Now, nobody returning. Okay, so the next comment. Oh, you're going to love this. This is the million dollar question. It's the younger generation that return. The older generation are the ones that are entitled and have the everyone must serve me since I pay attitude. That's well, to be honest with you, from my observation, it kind of cuts across all age groups. It's very hard. The moment you, I said, ah, yeah, it's the older people, then the next thing is the younger person that does it. Now, it's been said that it's very hard for the elderly to return their trays because they don't have the strength to do it. I'm sure that is the case uh, in, in some situations, but I also had someone who said, if you can carry a tray filled with steaming hot noodles to your table to eat, how can you not return the tray when the bowls are empty? I think at the end of the day, if people around you start returning their tray, I think you'll be motivated to return your tray. I'll tell you what though, sometimes when I'm one of the few people who gets up to return, I can see others looking at me that are there, 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 go and spoil market. 
<laughs> I can almost think that they are thinking that. You see, she returned. Now we all have to return. Oh, yeah. From JJ, is it? Okay. Uh, even if customers are willing to return the food tray, sometimes I find the tray return shelves full with no cleaners clearing them during peak hours. Okay, you know what, JJ? I've been in a situation whereby I brought all my bowls and plates to the tray return station and it was overflowing and I really didn't know what to do. I was so frightened because it's going to come crashing down, so I put it on the floor. Because, uh, because of the fact that they are having to clear up after us, most of the time there's nobody positioned at the tray return station. They're just running around across tables trying to quickly clear our trays. Actually, the problem is, is chicken and egg story. Nobody nearby is returning. I would have thought our episode would have more impact. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, I'm laughing at myself. We have three minutes left. Huh? Are you sure? Right now, I see people around us, they are about to finish their food. Halfway already, you know. Two minutes, 30 seconds. I do have a question for you guys. And please put your comments below. And that is, some hawker centres in Singapore have an automated tray return system. Be it 50 cents or one dollar. And then, you, when you return your tray and your cutlery, you will get that deposit back. Do you think this will work? So to give you guys some context, in the in Tree Return Part 2, we went to this uh, hawker centre in Bedok where the people pay 50 cents deposit and you get the deposit back after you are done with the, after you return your trays. One of the hawkers that we spoke to, he actually complained that a person gave him the 50 cents telling him it's his condolence money, saying that it's for his funeral because he doesn't the customer felt that it wasn't their duty or responsibility to pay the 50 cents. My heart went out to the hawker and I really wanted to scold that, that customer who complained about that. Andrew Lee asks, perhaps we can give them a $5 fine for first-time offenders, $10 for the second time, $100 for the third time, then $1,000 subsequently. Confirm next year, no budget deficit. <laughs> we'll be collecting a lot of money for our coffers. And so far, zero people. I think because it's in between breakfast and lunch, so um, you don't have that many people here. Yeah, but less than five can be two or three one. I mean, I don't want to think so badly of Singaporeans, you know? <laughs> I want to win, but not at the expense of Singapore. I was more hopeful. Rikita. I was so much more hopeful. Last minute. We are at the last minute. No, no, that's the hawker, hawker collecting the, the drink. His cups. Time, 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 calm down quick. 30 seconds left and still zero people. And we are now at our last 15 seconds with nobody returning their trays at Cochrane. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So I win, right? Yeah, you win. Technically, you won. Yeah, because but it's at less than 5. We all lost. So thank you very much for all your comments. We hope that you will share your thoughts with us regardless of whether uh, you are for or against tray returns, right? Uh, and also, if you haven't seen the tray return episodes, part one and two, please watch Talking Points. And if you want us to talk about other episodes of Talking Points, just leave a comment because we value your feedback and you're always on the lookout for interesting comments. That's right. Subscribe to CNA Insider because this is where we listen to you.